This is problem number one on the sample test problems for test number two. A container holds a large number of ping pong balls. A student wants to estimate the total number of ping pong balls in the container and proceeds as follows. She removes 100 balls from the container, marks them with a the blue dot, and returns the marked balls to the container. She then removes a new group of 80 balls from the container. Of these, 16 have blue dots. A. What is the method uh, which the student is using called? This is the capture recapture method. B. What estimate for the number of ping pong balls in the container would the student obtain? Show your work. Okay, so this uh, capture recapture method is all about proportions. Uh, so I'm going to have two fractions that I'm going to equate. And on the top of the fractions is going to be the number of balls that were marked. And on the bottom of the fractions is going to be the total number of balls. So let's start filling in these pieces. On the recapture part, that's this sentence here, that says of 80 balls, 16 have blue dots. So there were 16 that were marked out of 80 total. That was on the recapture. And then we'll go to the capture side of things. And it says that she removes 100 balls and marks them. So that 100 is the number of marked balls. And that 100 is 100 out of some unknown number of balls in the uh, container to start with. So there's my proportion. And we'll solve by cross multiplying. So cross multiply means uh, multiply the two numbers on this diagonal. Let's apply the numbers on that diagonal and make them equal to each other. So we get 100 times 80 equals 16 times x. Make sure when you cross multiply that uh, the one thing that we had, which was an equation, gives us another equation. Sometimes students turn a cross multiply into a fraction, not an equation. And then we just have to solve this thing for x. So 100 times 80 is 8,000, and that's equal to 16x. And then we divide both sides by 16. We get x is 8,000 divided by 16, which is 500. So our estimate is 500 balls in the container total. C. The student made a mistake, so her estimate may not be accurate. What should she have done to get a more accurate result? So reading the problem again, just the highlights. She marked some balls, she returned them to the container, and then removed a new group of balls. And the problem is that, because it's not explicitly stated here, uh, I guess we can assume that she didn't mix up the balls. And if she didn't mix up the balls, then the balls that are sitting at the top of the container are probably mostly these ones that she marked in the first place. And so she really wants to mix them up. When we talk about uh, using this method to describe animal populations, we make sure we give time for the marked animals to, um, to get mixed in with the current population. So I guess her answer here is that uh, she didn't mix up the balls. between the two captures.